Maria the Virgin Mary statue. According to the legend, in the year 1909 the young woman, Maria, was the daughter of a Spanish overseer on this Forest Park sugar estate and she was in love with an Indian laborer working on the estate. Maria's parents, especially her father, did not approve of the love affair. It is said that the father saw the two lovers together one night in a compromising affair, realized the relationship, became furious and decided to end it. After the young man left Maria's home she was summoned by her father and given a sound licking with instructions that she should no longer be seen in his company. Maria was in love with the laborer and had no intention of ending the affair so she refused and said that she would rather die. Enraged at what he had seen the night before, the father then summoned a few of his trusted workers and devised a plan to kill the laborer. He was a very influential man, and there were laborers on the estate who were prepared to do his bidding even to the point of getting rid of Maria's lover. One of the workers told Maria of the plan, and she was advised to tell him to leave the area immediately because his life was in danger. Maria then left her home in a rage and was on her way to her lover while on crossing the road. She was bitten by a snake but driven by love she continued running. Weakened however by the snake bite, she fell to her death from the hill next to the road. Overcome by the loss of his only daughter, the father decided that he would direct the statue in memory of her. He placed it on the highest hill on the estate that he could see the Virgin Mary and continuously plead to her for forgiveness. It is said that the apparition, seen running across the highway at night, is Maria trying to reach her lover to warn him that his life is in danger. The estate changed ownership several times over the years but the statue was not interfered with until it was desecrated by a mentally ill woman who claimed it was not responding to the questions she had asked it. In a fit of anger, the story goes, she climbed the pedestal on which it stands and decapitated the statue with a cutlass. Machete. Former workers at the Forest Park Sugar Estate testified to the decapitation and they also knew why the statue was erected by the overseer. It was for a S. Maria. Harry Cetus, a former worker on the Forest Park Sugar Estate, closed almost two decades ago, was the last person to testify about the accuracy of the event. Cetus died many years ago leaving behind the story of a legend that has captivated the minds of many for years.